All right, what is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today's video, it is pretty early in the morning right now. It's about 6.30, woke up at 6. Uh, got dressed, took a shower, ate a bowl of cereal. We're actually gonna head out to my first Cars and Coffee um, here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've never actually been to an event here in Charlotte, North Carolina. As you guys remember, I went to a Roanoke event uh, a couple weeks ago with some guys from the LU Auto Club. Um, I was back in April or May, I believe, uh, maybe late April. Anyways, and there's actually some guys here from the LU Auto Club who's down for doing an internship here in Charlotte, North Carolina uh, with Hendrick Motorsports, or uh, Hendrick, the automotive group, so the car dealership. Uh, Liberty University has a good relationship with him, so they have the opportunity to do that. So they're actually going to bring down some cars uh, from the actual dealership, I believe. I think it's going to be a Scat Pack, a Mercedes, and maybe a Mini Cooper, or uh, something around there. And um, we'll meet up with them later, but... Uh, yeah, so definitely looking forward to this because the one in Roanoke, I, it was okay. I mean, I think if you get, if you guys watched that video, you know, the, the best car there I think was Jacob's GTR, but I see that all the time because it's always on campus. Um, but we're going to go ahead and give this car a cold start, or give my car a cold start, and then we'll go ahead and get on the road. We're also going to meet up with Adam, uh, not sorry, not Adam. We're going to meet up with my friend Austin, and we're going to meet up with his friend, and we're going to head down, and then we're going to meet the rest of the group later on. <laughs> So we are now arriving here at Carl's and Coffee Charlotte. I uh, did have a little bit of a mix up with the group. Um, kind of surprised to see that they have us driving in on a gravel road or maybe we took a back entrance or something. Uh, kind of sucks because people did just clean their cars, but it's okay. I uh, got a cop over there. Um, hopefully you guys can see everything. I know I'm filming on a GoPro right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. guys so we're now leaving cars and coffee and it honestly was an awesome event uh definitely a lot better than the one that i went to in roanoke virginia there's nothing wrong with that one i'm sure i just feel like this was uh better because charlotte's a bigger city uh more people and whatnot so that's probably why i enjoyed it more um or there were more basically a better turnout and this one's not as consistent as the one in the uh, roanoke virginia so i feel like you know when this does happen a lot more people i feel like want to come out uh because you know they don't happen as often here um, but I'm currently sitting in traffic right now. Sorry guys from getting darker I just got into a bunch of shade here But honestly guys, um, you know, it was a really cool event I had a lot of people come up to me ask me about my car You know, uh, what did the 3.7 badges on the side mean? It's almost crazy how many people don't know about the uh, This uh, engine because um, you know a lot of v6s are most actually the v6s when they come from the factory You don't see the 3.7 badging on the end But as soon as I was leaving people were like oh, what's that mean? I had somebody when I was coming in. No, that's one of those six-cylinder Mustangs. So uh you know, it's cool to see that. There were a couple of other uh, V6 Mustangs out there. Definitely a lot of Mustangs that I liked. I uh, saw some GT350s out there. Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of those. Any Mustang person is. Um, there were also some uh, 2018s um, Mustangs out there that I really liked. Uh, one of the cool things that I got to see was Mustang, um, Mustang, not Lifestyle, I think his, believe his, uh, his name on Instagram is Mustang Fan Page. And he, um, you know, it's cool seeing him or seeing his car for the first time because it's one of those things, I guess you see the car on Instagram all the time and you're like, God, oh, you know, super clean, you know, through pictures, but in person it's also super clean. And, you know, the reason why I guess I was surprised because I know for a fact you can make cars look clean through you know edits and whatnot you can have all types of scratches in person but you can take those out uh you know right through photoshop and anything so his car is super clean right up and um right up close uh also seeing the supercars that was one of my main reasons why i went uh you know some people don't like supercars i personally love them um i love seeing lamborghinis i don't think i would ever buy one uh and obviously if i had the money to maybe buy one then i would but then also just the maintenance there's a bunch of factors it's probably why i wouldn't buy one um 
but you know it was definitely seeing uh cool seeing when i do want to drive a lamborghini one day that's a dream of mine not sure when it will happen not sure what age i'll be when it happens but i honestly do plan on driving one of those but uh you know i really love the yellow i think i have uh shots of both of those a green and orange one and then there was also some black lamborghinis that showed up later on and also a white one i believe but honestly the lamborghinis were awesome uh there was a dodge demon that even showed up i thought that was cool to see um i still don't know my feelings about the dodge demon uh i personally i mean don't get me wrong i know they're fast uh on the drag strip but i just i feel like i'd rather go with the hellcat i feel like you know you're already in that price range well i feel like actually i think i believe the demon is a little bit more expensive but I just feel like, you know, 840 horsepower on, I believe that's race gas, so on regular pump gas, you only have 100 more horsepower. Um, you know, I, I just feel like you go ahead and go with the Hellcat. I feel like once you have, honestly, any any more than over 600 wheel horsepower, fast is fast, and I know you could really get down to the numbers and whatnot, and that's what the Demon's for, for when you're at the drag strip and those, those seconds, milliseconds matter, but for me, I'm not really doing that stuff. So uh, honestly, it was an awesome event. I really enjoyed Cars and Coffee. Everyone's really nice. I met some people, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, people came up to me, talked about my car. Um, you know, the, oh, Alex, um, one thing that I found cool, Austin, uh, the, Austin, my friend, his friend Alex, they, uh, they were, a lot of people were attracted towards his car. A lot of people loved his dots and it had a LS1, I believe, inside of it. I thought that was really cool to see. Definitely more on the unique side. Don't really think I would personally do something like that myself. Just not really my style, but I definitely thought it was cool. Uh, when we were cruising down here on the highway, I could definitely tell that his car was a lot faster than mine. He could have easily just went straight by me for one because that LS1 has a lot of horsepower. Power. Not sure what modifications he has done to it, but I'm pretty sure he did all the um, the engine work himself. And along with the Datsun being so light, that thing could easily bolt right by me. So. Uh honestly yeah like i said good event um if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up um i do have some more videos uh coming up soon for you guys uh talking more about the ownership of this car um, i do have an issue going on right now that i'm trying to get fixed with the vehicle so stay tuned for that if you guys want to follow me on my social media account i am stuck in traffic side note this is one of the few times that uh manual transmission sucks this isn't that bad i've been in worse but on and off the clutch sucks but um anyways if you guys want to follow me on my social media quick drive videos is where i post a lot of stories uh and also dan the light man is my um snapchat so if you guys want to go ahead and add me there other than that guys i'll catch you guys in another video